Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Fit the Beast server. I have been letting this run for a while, this uh, skeleton farm thingy that we made. Just making sure that everything works fine. We get plenty of arrows and uh, bones and the uh, tank in here. Oops, in here. It's getting nice and cool. And now we want to uh, use that map essence for something. So actually let's go and turn this off and get to the uh, job at hand. So what I want to spawn in there is mobs. I guess, I guess that's pretty obvious. But uh, especially I want to spawn wither skeletons. Uh, you can do that uh, quite easily and uh, if I ever run out of food uh, we can also spawn cows and pigs and uh, things like that in there. If we, but we, first we want to uh, take care of the villagers. Uh, sorry, not the villagers, but the wither skeletons. And for that we are going to use these suffer nets. I have, I believe I have two of these single uses in here. So these can capture animals and then you can release them. Uh, these are single use as you can see. This is the reusable, so you can use it over and over again, which we are going to make. So we need ender pearls and some cast tears. I don't have any pearls, but I have lots of iron. I went caving and got around thousand iron <laughs> uh, ingots from that. Let's take care of that. Now we have some pearls and then we need a cast tear. I have plenty of those also. Oops. That was the incorrect button. Let's make the uh, suffering net. Like that. Okay, and drop these off. And we can try it with, for example, a squid. If there's one available here. I don't have any animals in my base at the moment. Let's try it with this guy. So I think that you are supposed to right click it, yeah now it's he's in the uh, safari net. I think that it's going to say what we have in here, so let's see. Yeah, squid. Health 9. And now we can release him. Just right click. And now it's uh, dying. <laughs> yeah, let's kill it. Okay, so that's how the uh, safari net works. Actually, I'm going to drop these off. And now we need to head to the nether and try to capture a wither skeleton in that safari net. So uh, I'll head to the uh, fortress I have and uh, I'll meet you there. Alright, here we go. Came to the uh, portal and uh, uh, I mean the uh, nether and uh, found a skeleton. So let's try this. Right click and we got him. Simple as that. Alright, so let's head off to the uh, overworld and uh, I'm going to cut this out because I'm just running. Uh, so I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. We're back. And as you can see, this safari net uh, now tells us that it has a skeleton inside it. Uh, not wither, but skeleton, but it's okay, we can still use this. Uh, now we need to make this uh, auto-spawner thing. A uh, bit complicated recipe, but I think that I have everything. So let's, actually, let's try this. How does this work? Yeah, that's great. So if you right-click, uh, sorry, the left-click this, you get the recipe in here, under here, like this. But if you shift left click this question mark, you get the ingredients and then you can get your auto spawner. You only need to have these in here. That's the thing. Oh, and I also made a couple of those recipes. Add, added those, these guys, these, what are these called? Encoded patterns. So now I can roll down here. I don't have any machine frames. So next time I need them, I can just do this, begin. And since I have four computers there, this is really fast. I mean, really. There are, there's our machine frames. That's great. 
And I also need that, the uh, wither skeleton skulls, because I need to tell the diamond transport pipe that we need or want to save these. And I also want to save the, uh, the these guys, uh, these guys. Shard of Minim, I know that they dropped them. I don't have any spoils back, that's, that's kind of suck. Yeah, I don't have any of those. And I also made these stone brick covers. You can make them with this hand saw. It's really a simple recipe. This guy or diamond one if you want. Stone rods, sticks and diamonds. And stone rods are just two stones on top of each other. That's how, what I used to make the tree thing and I also used them in there. So I think that I have everything. Oh, we need do we need oh let's use this this guy's great haha let's you take some redstone energy conduits and we need those liquid ducts uh, do we need anything else maybe a lever so we can stop the spawning and then and, and, uh, is there anything else i don't think so so let's get over there and uh, see what we can do with this Let's break through here and let's first cover these guys, make it look a bit nicer. Yeah, that looks great. I'm guessing that these uh, now use this block so a mob can't spawn in here. That's what I'm thinking. I could also cover these, but I don't want to do that. So now we need to find the middle part. A middle block it's this one actually I'm going to hide that because I don't want to lose in here and this is where we will add our spawner and then we will add this safari net in here actually let's add it afterwards but this is the uh, important thing when we want to spawn wither skeletons so if it select this that spawn exact copy copy is no this would spawn normal skeletons but when we select it to yes now it will spawn the uh, wither skeletons we also need to give it some uh, mob essence some power and it has some this idle and work uh, meters just like the mob grinders so that's done let's get out of here cover that and head on down in here so now we need to uh, fill this up with the mob essence from there actually I did kind of I should have placed this uh, tank one block this way or maybe two but we should still manage so this is the wall wall not how do you pronounce it wall let's run the uh, mob essence to the uh, auto spawner like so and then we need to give it some lever so that the, f uh, the uh, stuff is uh, the uh, liquid is allowed to flow and we also need to give it a a strike with a crescent hammer and now this is filling up with the uh, let's check it yeah it's now full of essence we have still plenty in there uh, now we need to actually I want to make another lever how do we do this we need to give it some power and we need to give control it with lever or we don't have to but I want to oops let's do this like so and then lever here uh, where should we, get, should we get the power? Where's the uh, closest point? There's kind of a mess with the power lines. Let's grab some this away. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Where's the easiest spot to do that? Maybe in here. 
then the uh, energy conduits. All right, and these all are a bit out of reach. This is probably the best one. Yeah. So now it should have power. But since the lever is on, it's not spawning. Oh, it doesn't have the suffer in it. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Is a lever on by default? It's off by default, but which way is it? It's, it's like that. So I'm going to set it on. And we need to oops, head upstairs to do a bit of covering. I, uh, these aren't mandatory, but I want to cover them. But I really would like to use... I'm going to go and make a dirt or grass block cover. Oh, but I can't make grass because I don't have silk touch tools. Oops. Let's make a dirt cover. And I don't have any dirt. I think that you can do this. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again since the uh, server decided to crash. Okay, these aren't going to look the best, but that's okay, I believe. Let's drop the, this saw in here, that also, and then I'm going to put away my crescent hammer. Okay. I should really eat and I should have slept. Oh well. At some point I'm going to change this into a, a grass cover once I get the uh, make a silk touch pick. But uh, at the moment this looks good enough. Okay, let's do this and then we need to head on to the back and make some changes into here. We have all those bones. I don't know if I want to save the arrows. Starting to think that I don't want to. <laughs> but yeah, we need to first of all take this out. And I'll add the uh, diamond chest in here so we can uh, we have enough uh, room so I can find the spoils back and let's say that the uh, let's say that the red line is going to be the uh, search of minium and the wither skeleton skulls hmm, I don't know what to do with these arrows I don't think that you can uh, I don't think that you can use these to craft anything or smelt them or anything like that. I don't have any used for these. As you can see, I'm not using any using any uh, bows. But I think that this should be now fully functional. There's plenty of mob essence. This should have power. Yeah, and it's ready to work. So. Let's hit the lever and it's uh, idling at the moment. But if we take a look at in he here. Oh, did I place the... Uh, oh, I forgot that. <laughs> That's the uh, important part. Let's try that. Do that. That and... This. Uh, spawn exit copy. Yes. Turn it on. Idling time is running down. Let's go and see. It should spawn a wither skeleton. Oh, and there he is. And he should die. There's one again. Two. And they should die soon. Three. Dead. Dead. Ha! 
Works like planned. And we can see the uh, what they drop. Oh, and they, they drop gold. That was one thing that I didn't remember. Okay, so coaling goes in here. So the shard of minium and wither skeleton skulls. Bones go in here. Those are probably coal, yes. Let's see this guy in action here. There's the work. And uh, it spawns every time, time that the work goes up. And we are using the mob essence to create the mobs, but as you can see, sometimes the number goes up because the wither skeleton mob essence is also uh, drawn in there. Okay, so this works just like I planned it. Hopefully we... Yeah, there's our first wither skeleton skull. Uh, that was what uh, maybe minute or two and we already got ourselves a uh, skeleton skull only thing that we need to worry about is the is this uh, power it uses really 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 much power <laughs> and uh, that's something that we need to get, take care of and uh, I actually I have a plan for it uh, it's going to uh, be actually a really simple solution but uh, I think that we are going to look at that at a later episode ah, we still have some time so uh, let's actually make some uh, oh and uh, I made a, went and uh, I made a cow uh, suffering net just to demonstrate that we can uh, spawn pretty much anything from that uh, that uh, auto spawner or pr not pretty much but anything but I want to make these uh, wireless transmitters and receivers to control that easier. I don't have to go up there and control it and the other one I don't have to go down there and control it. So these wireless transmitters I want to make these. And wireless receivers. So what do we need? We need obsidian rod which is two obsidian, redstone and stone slab and this receiver dish which is wireless transmitter and a stone bowl yeah that's sim simple a retter pearl what's that mm, not bad okay let's try it so first we need to make that guy this guy so we need probably two of these yeah so two of these oh i was supposed to do it like this that and two of these Okay, throw these guys in here. What else do we need? We need these obsidian rods. I need probably four. Let's make six of these. And then we need stone slab. What's that? That's the just stone. Let's do that. Okay, what else? I think that we should have this. Oh, we are missing the oh we need the wireless transmitter this guy so two of these let's see now yeah wireless receiver and then we need the transmitter so we need to make the bowl try that again let's make a couple of those then this guy Okay, and then we need to make uh, the, not that one. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, uh, we need. Oh, I w was supposed to make two of these, bo both con to bo control both, one up, one down. So let's actually. I'm going to make one of these uh, offline. Okay, let's make this happen. So. Receivers should go both in the uh, in here. Oh, I forgot. I was su supposed to grab those uh, covers to make it look nice. Uh, straight away. So I need 
that and I need I need to make a couple of couple of these so let's do that quickly okay and drop this off and away we go so I'm going to probably have the button in here or at, at some point in there if there's the uh, uh, the range is, is uh, can can reach there. So if we set the lever, let's say in there, open this up, add a block in here, and then a transmitter here. That's not oriented correctly. Let's try that again. If, if I place it like this, no. So let's grab our super wrench here hopefully we can rotate this nope yeah it's this way yeah cool it can go on frequency one so let's name it uh mob spawner maybe uh oh let's say twitter skeleton farm and number one set name and uh yeah i think it's set yeah one in in there yeah and it's on at the moment that's th th that's the way i i want it at that at this moment and then i'm going to just to be sure i want to I want to move this. I need to make another lever. So let's add that there. Do this and then come on, let me out. Then remove this just to make sure that the uh, skeletons, skeletons don't spawn everywhere. Then we are going to do a little bit of. a little bit of this action make it a bit easier for me this guy goes does it need to be it can't be there so I need to place it in here I believe now I can add this here yeah oops <laughs> Rotate it correctly. Set the frequency to wither skeleton farm, and it should be transmitting. Yeah, it is. Okay, great. <laughs> so let's place this guy here, that there, and this guy here. Then get out of here. Remove these on the way out. And then use some bricks to cover it up. One in there. Okay, and one in here. And I'm going to add a block in there at some point. So then the ne next receiver would go in here. So in this now can i do it simpler if i place this here can i place this here no it's on the other side so i need to i need to do this a bit funny okay one more so we add this in here but I want to add another lever here, so place that, turn it off, just to make sure I want a opening, <laughs> if it spawns a wither skeleton. Then if we remove this, nothing spawning, let's place that, orientate it, 
set it to frequency one remove this cover that hopefully all right get out of here and try it okay that one is working hopefully the video skeletons will spawn shortly after nice hat yeah there's the video skeleton all right it works so let's turn it off cover this guy here and from this side also and one more there now let's try the uh, cow thing cow thing now i need to remember not to remove that that would be bad <laughs> yeah billy wants to sleep so let's try cow try, try it with the cow that would be oh this will be great because uh after this i don't need any i don't need to worry about my food at some point we should get a cow there he goes why isn't he uh oh that's a problem the if you drop me the leather it's not going to draw them hmm. but we get the uh we will get the meat out of these guys oh that's not great i was really hoping that we would get everything out of these guys and they should be the meat should be here and there it is and there's some leather i don't know if probably if if the uh, map drops more than one item then it will not be drawn without by the uh by the grinders maybe that's it but yeah, as you can see, we will we can spawn cows and get the meat, all the meat that I need. Yeah, and uh, mm, maybe we could add some sort of hopper system in here to grab the the uh, the uh, drops that aren't collected by the grinders. Mm. I'm going to think about that. But yeah, I think that this is pretty much done at least this phase i have a, a little plan for the uh, back side here that's what why isn't it isn't covered so i will end this episode here hopefully you enjoyed the uh contraption we built and uh, if you did please leave a comment and uh hopefully i will see you on the next episode